Well, g'day punters. Uh, we're in Karen up. Uh, I've just finished this block. And I haven't worried too much about showing you videos of the machine, the Robo Fox. You've already seen that. But I, I need to explain to the novices out there that have started doing some slashing work that have gone into a mower shop and been talked into buying a zero turn and this, that and whatever, or are using an old Deutscher, which is actually a commercial mower, it's not a slasher. The reason why machines are particularly designed for slashing, and uh, we've got three blocks here, and we're in the middle of suburbia, some very expensive houses around us, and I'll show you the difference between what I've done with my experience working with councils and uh, in particular I was uh, contracted by Cullamunda a few years ago to do some work for them working very closely with the rangers and one of their biggest concerns in fact they fretted when we were doing a block once with a tractor is dust and apparently dust and noise are two of the biggest complaints that councils received so when we spoke about getting grass down and so on and so forth most councils are concerned about it just getting down so it doesn't burn quickly and if it catches on fire it'll just smolder. Um, one thing they were really concerned about was dust. So we're going to show you a block here that's been cleared for a building obviously and you can imagine the nightmare the neighbours are having while it's like this. There's our cleared block, completely bare of anything. You can see all the grass has been piled up and hopefully it'll be built on very, very quickly. If it doesn't, this is going to become a nightmare for the people living next to it. We're close to Scarborough here. You might notice that water tank there on the hill. Karen Up Shopping Centre is over there. And you can see the disaster this block is while it remains vacant for all the neighbours. So this is another little block right in front of me that's been done by another contractor. Uh, it, to me, it looks like they use a Deutscher or something similar because it's cut very, very close to the ground, you can see. And the clip is still very tall, as you can see there as well. So the only problem with this is, one, it's been cut too short. And if they have used something like a Deutscher, um, it might have been, been a tractor with a slasher because you can see the grooves here. It's way too short. They cut it to the ground and this will become a dust bowl very, very quickly indeed. Whereas here with RoboFox, I've taken the top off. And as you can see, the grass is still there. This nice mulched clip on top of it. And it would be very, very hard to get any dust off this. Maybe a uh, willy willy or something like that might stir some dust up. Um, we're at 50 mil. Um, it's stable. Uh, there'll be really good regrowth next year. Um, the other thing with the mulching machine is it does mulch up the she seeds. So a lot of the tall grass won't come back quickly and easily. Um, we've run over timber and stuff like that. No problems with the RoboFox because the blades are very forgiving when it hits things like this. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't look like it's been freshly mowed, because we don't want that. What we want is stability on the block, and that's exactly what we've got here, as opposed to the neighbouring block, which has still got a minimal amount of grass on it, but not much, and then obviously the one that's been cleared for building, which is going to be a nightmare. Um, so these are the things to remember. This is not the sort of work you do with a zero turn or a ride on mower. This is the work that you must do with a particular type of machine. And if you're like this guy next door and you're using a tractor slasher, which is kind of what it looks like with the grooves in the ground, well, probably a good idea maybe to look at buying yourself a flail mower where you can properly set the height and uh, you end up with a much better clip. You can see here how long the clip is. So it's been cut by something, it's not been mulched by something. If you come over here, everything's been mulched. Even the African lovegrass has been mulched. And that gives us a nice, beautiful bed of stuff that will, vegetation that will break down into the soil again. So this is the thing with what we do uh, and what slashing contractors do. We're not mowing contractors. We use particular types of machines to create a much safer, stable block. 
which is what this customer has paid for, and this is what they've got. Um, so the machine's back on the truck, as you can see, or the ute, I should say. It was very, very quiet. It stopped people. I had three or four spectators for this particular block, with people amazed at its work. Um, again, the neighbour came out to say hello. I haven't disturbed anyone, I haven't upset anyone. Paying the big bucks for a machine that does a very, very professional job. And as we continue to do this sort of work, people will become more and more impressed and our reputation will spread. Get Slashed has like two five-star testimonials. We don't look for five-star testimonials, not interested in that. Everyone's got five-star testimonials. But we have a reputation that's well known within the industry. And uh, contractors talk and customers talk and this is council's talk and this is what we build long term is relationships. So yeah, very, very important when building a business is one having the right equipment, the right expertise. I'm not a mowing or turf expert. I know plenty of people that are, and if you need some expertise in that area, happy to refer them on. I've got some great contacts in that regard. But slashing, that's my thing, and uh, yeah, totally different profession to uh, cutting grass. Anyway, uh, a great wind up for the year. Happy New Year to everyone. See you next year, and uh, we'll keep you updated with more machines as they become available to us.